Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and welcome back to another gaming video, and today we are back in our Minecraft survival world. Now I know it has been a little bit of time since we have been on our Minecraft survival world, but we are finally back here, and I actually do not have many big plans uh, today. I don't have a lot of big plans for today's video. I was thinking that I was just going to work on cleaning up around the area. As you can see here, we have a bunch of crops to take down, and as well as, I think I was just going to clean up some of the area here, and sort of just terraform this a little bit more so it's a bit more flatter, and also, I'm not sure what we want to do with our farm here, because I had a really cool idea of building up a farmhouse for our animals here. Um, so let's go ahead and get to work and actually get our tools ready so that we can get started and flattening out this area and making it look a little bit more nicer since I know in some of the previous episodes I've started to cut down some of these uh, grass areas here and made it a lot more nicer I guess you could say uh, but I think I'm going to try to expand it out a little bit more and just make it look a little bit more neater and so let's just see here we have one iron shovel so I'll go ahead and craft another iron shovel. Okay, let's just go ahead and smelt our raw iron here, and I'm just going to actually make two iron shovels since I just have, um, uh, what do you call it, two pieces of raw iron here, so we'll just wait for this uh, to come out of the furnace. Alright, there is one iron shovel there, and then I'll go ahead and make uh, just a couple more sticks so that we can make a second shovel. And there we have it. Now we have some shovels here ready, and I think I'll get ready and start to... Um, sort of dig out this area over here, just because I don't really like how this area is looking here, since we want to expand this area open uh, for more buildings. I think I might try to make the farm... Mm, I'm not sure if I want to put it over here, because there's a bunch of, like, cave systems and stuff that I might try to fill up, um, or I might even put it out a little bit over here, because I really want to expand... Uh, this area and that would be nice but anyways let's go ahead and get to work and start expanding this area around the house here Alright, and one thing that I noticed too, I'm not sure, but I think my FPS has kind of gone down just a little bit, which is not good. I did put up the rendering distance uh, a bit more. I would click F2 right now, but I have that hooked up to my uh, clipping software. So let me just go ahead and change this here. Um, video settings, and I have up to 25 chunks, which I'm not sure if that's contributing to my low FPS or if I'm just lagging or something. So I guess I'll just bring it down to, I don't know, 17 chunks. Okay, that should hopefully be a little bit better. And let's get back to um, taking out this land here. I have already gone through that one uh, red zone um, iron shovel here. Uh, but I think I'm just going to extend this out just a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if I want to try to get up to here. I think up to here and sort of around, I think we'll say right around here is the whole area. Oh my gosh, sorry, I cannot speak today. This whole area, sorry, um, that I'm going to want to try to mine out. Um, and so hopefully we'll be able to get this area done and it will feel a little bit more nicer. Um, but in the long run, I think I am going to expand this out more in the future and as well as this section. Uh, but for now, we'll just focus on mining out this section here. But it looks like the sun is about to go down, so I'll keep mining until it is time to go to bed. All right, everybody, so the sun is going down now, so hopefully we'll be able to go to bed soon. I'm always very bad at timing this, um, but yeah, we'll go in for another day of mining out, well, not mining out, shoveling out this area here, and I'm not sure if I want to build the, or start sort of like the skeleton of the farm. Uh, in this episode, I might try to make sort of a general rough idea of how the uh, farmhouse is going to look like, um, but other than that, we should pretty much be set for this area here to open up the farm. I think I decided I wanted to have it, um, I sort of changed my mind. I think I wanted to sort of have it around this area right here next to the mine, because uh, I still want to expand some of more of the main buildings around here. Um, just because the farm animals are back over here, it does get a little bit annoying when I'm inside of the house and I keep hearing <laughs> all of the noises. Uh, but let's get back to shoveling this dirt here. And also I think I might do 
this just a little bit more nicer and sort of make this uh, filled up with more water and putting stone around here so it looks like we have an actual place for our fishes. Wow, alright guys, so that went by surprisingly quick with all of our shovels. I have to make a couple more iron shovels, but I sort of put these markers around here uh, for this area that I'm going to dig out, uh, just to expand it a little bit more. Now that I think of it, oh my gosh, I thought that was a skeleton for some reason, um, even though it's daylight. Anyways, um, I might expand this out a bit more, just so it goes up right to the edge of this cave system here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and make a couple more uh, iron shovels which surprisingly we ran out and also we need food too that is one thing uh, so i'll go ahead and smelt some more iron and we'll make a lot more shovels for us to use let's see up here we got four pieces of iron so i guess yeah we'll do four iron shovels why not um oh yeah right in here and we'll make a couple more sticks and that should be plenty. We'll have two left over here. And also, we can put all of this dirt down here. And oh my gosh, the, my bird scared me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and put the rest of our miscellaneous items here. I'll just keep a stack of dirt on me just in case I need to fill in uh, some holes on the way. And oh, I don't want to put the wheat seeds there. And up here, put that there, that there. Already got three pieces. And there we go, we got three. And now four shovels. Actually, where the heck did I put? Um, oh, I am so stupid. I forgot that it takes two sticks, not um, one stick, because I said, oh, I have, four, I have six sticks now, so I'll have two left over if I make four of them, but that's my bad. Forgot it takes two. There we go. Anyways, here we have all of our new shovels here. We have four iron shovels, so hopefully we'll be able to get done with this section soon. Um, because we've already been through three iron shovels, but um, I also encountered this area over here with the water. Um, I think I might fill this area up and keep this sort of pond area um, just since I sort of like the nature stuff around my house, uh, I'll just keep this as the main water source and I'll have to fill in this area here. And floating grass, that is nice. There we go. All good now. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue working on this section here. Alright everybody, so we're almost finished here mining out all of this section here. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this layer here just because it looks a little bit funny um, being raised up by two blocks here. Um, but of course in the future we'll extend this out a lot, lot more. Uh, but we are almost done here with this section, which will be great. Um, I have noticed though that there has been a couple of um, spooky skeleton sounds over here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put my barn exactly right in this corner i might still do 
um, but, because I think we are over like a cave system, but it should be no biggie if I just go down and, um, you know, light up the area or take out the mobs there. Uh, I think, regardless, I'm still gonna put the barn around this area over here. Uh, but now we're down to the final blocks, and ta-da! We have now cleared out this section here, which is awesome. Oh, actually, you're, did you, you hear that? Yeah, I hear a bunch of skeletons. Um, there is iron here, but we have a bunch of iron, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, but we'll fill in this section here, just because I prefer the other area for our water section. And then other than that, this whole section should be all pretty much flat. Hold on. Okay, yeah, there's- that might be annoying, actually, with the skeletons. Um, change of plans. I think I'll put the barn more in the middle here, this section, and I'll face, like, an arch this way, um, just so it's a little bit better. And then, pretty much my whole plans for the barn is to have it in this section so I can focus a lot of more home stuff over here. Um, but I might actually want to have to take out that skeleton because it as is actually a little bit annoying um let me just finish up this section here and there we have it it is all flats now which is awesome and let's just get a good view from here as you can see we've cleared out this section here well of course we still have this area but that is uh okay because we still have some stuff over here uh, i'm gonna keep the sugar uh the sugar cane farm right here and uh, we can go ahead and start working on, like, the skeleton of the actual barn. So, I'm not sure if I want to keep this same location here for the barn. Um, I think I might put it right along this section here. Um, I think that'll be a little bit better so we have sort of an open area so we can come down in a row like this. And that should pretty much be the plan. Um, pretty much just want a pathway that comes from around here. Uh, and goes off to the right here so I can have more sections for my underground stuff and possibly extend out the house because now I do think it would have been a little bit better if I just went all out on the house like I usually do in my survival worlds um, instead of keeping it compact. But yeah, normally with our barns that we do, me and my sister when we play Minecraft together, we usually make it out of like the red clay and before um, that was a thing, we used to do wool back in the day. Um, so I think I'm still gonna want to do like the red clay idea. We're just gonna build the skeleton out um, Almost like building a ship or sort of like an airplane where you have just sort of the Skeleton of it and then on another episode. We'll have to fill it in actually um, Now that I think of it, I think I'll have like an opening here that'll come out this way I think that'll be pretty cool and then I'll extend out this way for the rest of the farm animals I think that'll be pretty cool um, just so that we can have this section here be sort of a walkway, and now that I think of it, ooh, I might actually need to extend this out a little bit more, just because there's going to be that little peg section there. So I think I'm actually just going to extend this out a couple more blocks. So I take back what we or what I said. We're not quite done yet. So I am going to make uh, like one or two more iron shovels, and I'll extend this out a little bit more. But it looks like it's almost time to go to bed. So I'll just smelt that iron and then go to bed, and we can work terraforming this a little bit more then get started on the skeleton of our barn so let me just go ahead and grab um what is it called some more raw iron actually we have five iron ore here so i guess we'll just have to go ahead and um place this down we'll probably have to break it so we can get raw iron and i will keep that stack of iron ore even though that we could technically get silk touch and then break the actual blocks but i think it's still pretty cool because I had the version of Minecraft before it switched over to the raw iron, um, but we'll go ahead and break this up here. And I hear a BB zombie, that is not very good. Anyways, let's go ahead and smelt our iron here, and I'll put uh, a bunch of these dirt blocks here down in our chest. Oh, I am so stupid, I just totally forgot to put the raw iron in the furnace. I went to, I was going to be like, okay, we're going to go ahead and put the raw iron in the furnace now, but, um, I went off to do other things, and I checked the furnace, I'm like, why is there nothing, and I just realized I didn't even put it in, so that was my bad. Alright, everybody, so our five pieces of iron are done smelting now, uh, so we'll go ahead and make 
our shovels. Actually, I'm going to need some more sticks. I keep doing this. Whoops. There we go. I probably should have only made a couple iron shovels, but oh well, who cares? We have a bunch of shovels now, even though we're probably only going to be using like one of them. Anyways, I'll go ahead and extend this out a bit more. And if you guys also have any suggestions or ideas for what else I should build in my uh, Minecraft survival world, please let me know. Because I would be very happy to try to build something that you guys suggest. Um, but for now, I'm just going to start off with this barn here. Um, I haven't really thought of what else I should be able to do. I was thinking about renovating the house. Um, such as in breaking out this glass piece here. Making it extend all the way out in this way. Um, just because we're getting rid of this barn area here. Which, actually, that might be a small problem. Actually, never mind. We'll have wheat and seeds to lure them into our barn here. And I also might try to go back to the jungle too. Just as a souvenir to take and raise one of the pandas for fun. Just because I really like the pandas. Um, but I'll see you guys when we are done mining out the rest of these block sections here. And phew, alright everybody, we are now finished uh, extending this out a little bit. I just wanted to extend it about just, you know, this much. Um, I think I am going to do like a rough sketch or outline of what we are going to do here um, in dirt. So that will look a little bit interesting. Uh, but I'll just do sort of like a floor layout here. So I am just going to go ahead and take this corner here and I'm going to extend it out. Um, let's see here. I think this would be... A pretty decent width for another building or something over here and then this will of course be our farm section here so this is where i'll know actually we can extend this out just a bit more this is where i'll know this is going to be like the sort of corner turning section and we can of course always make this out a little bit more so i think what i'm going to do here is actually let me destroy these torches here um what i am going to do is i think i'm going to want to have this sort of look like this. So we're going to extend this out a little bit. I'll make this four wide and one, two, three, four. We also want this open by four blocks. And then this is sort of going to be the whole entire farm area over here. And this will extend out a fair amount because I'm just want to have this a little bit long. And then it'll go out like that. And we'll have it turn right into here. And this is, of course, again, just another uh, rough sketch or rough outline of, like, the layout that I sort of want. So I'm going to try to squish back here. And then, of course, we want to make sure that this is the same length, but I'm just going to eyeball it a little bit. Or even make it a bit shorter, just so I can have, like, I don't know, some sort of decorative area here. Like a silo or something. Um, and we can make this section a little bit shorter, and then we'll have, like... A food system here i'm not sure what i want to have just a bunch of chest areas and it'll mostly extend out into this and oh i made a mistake there anyways um but this will sort of just be the rough sketch or outline that i'm going to do here um we'll of course have this go out like this and then we'll have our farm animals here so i'll have a section right here and then i can also have a very large section for a bunch of animals like this can just be a cow section a chicken section right here and then I can even also have this section be, um, I don't know, one with sheep and just a bunch of miscellaneous things too. And I can also make this a uh, two-story farm as well. I'm not sure how that'll exactly work, but hey, it's Minecraft. It's probably possible. Um, so I'll just extend this out here and sort of build up a layer of the wall. And then this will, of course, have to extend out here because I made a mistake. And almost done here. And then over here, we'll just have a simple door. Or maybe a double door that'll come out like this. And then we'll have this section here that I'm just going to make. Rough, rough sketch of what this sort of circular area is going to be like. 
and then actually we will want to cut this out here my bad i should have extended this out a lot more but that was my bad um actually this is looking a bit wonky <laughs> so we'll do that like that and then we'll have this area right here and finally one like this and one like that and there we go we have a sort of rough sketch or outline since it's almost uh time to go to bed here i'll go ahead and go back to bed and then i'll sort of build this up with a little bit more of a wooden feel to it so it's sort of like a skeleton and we should pretty much be done with the skeleton of the barn once we have replaced it with wood because it looks a little bit wonky now with the uh dirt but trust me i hope it'll look a little better and yes i am making the farm a bit big just because i really like animals so let's go to bed now now that i think of it i might actually want to extend this out just a little bit more so just so it looks a little bit more better Oh my gosh, okay, you know, you guys already know how much of a scaredy cat I am. And I was just cutting down some trees there, and it's raining, so that's nice. Mobs, I guess. Um, unfortunately, we can't go to sleep, which kind of sucks, and... Oh my gosh, that actually scared me, because uh, right now, in real life, it is very cloudy outside. And I'm the only one here, so this is sort of a... Uh, scary because i'm used to playing with um you know my friends or family and i am just a total big scaredy cat so unfortunately i do not believe that we can go to bed um which kind of sucks and i'm pretty sure mobs do spawn in the rain if i am uh right i'm pretty sure um which kind of sucks yeah i'm pretty sure mobs spawn in the rain so i'm just gonna wait this out and i know this is a very big noob and very scaredy pants move of me, but yes, <laughs> I have very interesting playing styles. I enjoy building a lot more than going out and actually being brave <laughs> in the rain. So anyways, um, I guess I am technically safe right here. Now I think, I'm not sure if mobs do spawn in the rain, but I'm pretty sure I honestly forgot. I also learn how to make clay as well, or is it terracotta? I forgot. Anyways, um... I know that there's a crafting recipe, so let me just check, because I'm curious. I'm not sure if search terracotta or what was it called? Clay? Oh, yeah, concrete. Oh, my gosh. I am so stupid. Concrete, yes. Um, looks like we just need sand, gravel, and whatever dies. So we're going to have to do a lot, and I mean a lot of mining for, or not mining, a lot of digging for all of the materials for our concrete powder. And that should be interesting, uh, but I know this video is starting to get a little bit longer, or at least it seems a bit long for me, because um, I've been mining all day, or shoveling out all day. Um, but yeah, we'll just wait for this storm to pass, and then we'll get back to work. And I know, very sorry, I am big noob. Alright everybody, so it is a new day now, and it has stopped raining, so yet again, I'm very sorry, because... Yes, I am huge scaredy cat. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I am just very scared at stuff in general. Um, that's why I cannot do horror games at all. So if you guys ever want me to do Five Nights at Freddy's or, I don't know, something like that, uh, expect an answer of no. Because <laughs> I get too scared even at some of the most simplest games ever. Um, I freak out over the tiniest thing. I don't know why. I'm just uh, very scared like that, I guess. Anywho... Let's go ahead and create the rest of our wood here. That was not a lot of wood. We got two stacks. Um, anyways, I'm pretty sure I am happy with how I like the configuration of my barn here. Um, as you could see, this will be sort of the layout. It'll have a huge opening here. And I'm pretty much just going to have a small little walkway um, that I'll be able to go off of. And pretty much in this section here, I'll have a fence here along over this section. I think I'll just have this like 
a two wide so we can fit animals in um, well with ease and then it'll just pretty much be filled with long sections and I'll also have an upstairs room as well um, which might be a task because I think I'm gonna have like a spiral staircase that'll go up and we'll have storage areas here which it should be pretty cool um, so let's go ahead and replace some of this dirt here with actual wood so that I just remember um, I think most importantly I'm going to want to make the proportions of uh, how we're gonna do this so we're of course gonna have actually I should have uh, done something here where I can actually have stairs and yes I'm pretty sure animals can go upstairs that may sound pretty dumb but I just want to make sure um, just as a rough sketch here we'll just have some stairs um, that'll just go along like this and it'll just spiral upwards a bit I don't know why I placed that second option or second one there but oh well who cares I'm gonna make this too too large but I do know that barns usually have like pretty high ceilings so I think this will be the level where we want it so it'll pretty much be almost level with our house there and there we go this will be the rough sketch of the staircase here let me go ahead and break down some of this extra wood and we should be pretty much good to go to make the skeleton of it you'll see what I mean if you're not quite too sure what I'm talking about there um, and let's see do I need to break that okay nope never mind um, I think first before I actually replace all of this area and stuff here we'll just make the skeleton um, so pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is pretty much be building up almost like a slice of cake like a layer that we want so this will pretty much ooh, I am not good at this okay so this is pretty much level with that one here and then we'll of course want to make this one two three high actually we'll do it four just to be safe and then I'll sort of go up like this and I think we'll just have let's see let's count one two three four five six seven eight so we can pretty much have um let me think here six seven eight yes quick math so we'll do three like this and then we'll have this top section be up by two high and then this is actually going to be pretty tricky here there we go and then we'll just end this off here one two three and hopefully that didn't go over nope and that is pretty much the skeleton of what this is going to be and actually do i have i have no water buckets Ooh, that kind of sucks um i guess we'll just stare down actually <gasps> why that was so dumb i <laughs> i had no clue what i was doing there that was so dumb anyways uh, yes, pro Minecraft player here. We'll go ahead and build up this little section here. I want to make sure I'm directly on to where we want to build up. And, of course, this is going to be replaced with a bunch of, uh, terracotta and stuff. And I just realized I could just do this here. And let me just descend. And there we go. Easy. And so this is what I was sort of saying with the skeleton. Um, we're just going to have this sort of section like this here. And oh my gosh, I forgot to actually break this piece out here. So that's going to be sort of rough. But oh well. We'll break this section here. And do I really need to get... Yeah, probably just for my own. There we go. <laughs> so let's go ahead and break down here. And this is what I was sort of talking about with the quote-unquote skeleton. Um, just the sort of like slice of what the barn is going to look like and that should pretty much be the plan for this since it's going to be two-storied um, I want it to be pretty nice just because I really like to store a bunch of animals in here um, and I just realized this is probably going to be a problem uh, I don't think I'll do any more slices just because I sort of know what it's going to look like because um, I do think I want to do this with concrete instead I'm just going to do this section here which would be really simple to go up and so, I'll just make this three high like this. And just build over very simply. Just like that. Let's see, uh-oh. What, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Uh, we'll just simply do it like that. And that'll be sort of the slice there. 
Um, it'll just push into this skeleton area. And that should be pretty much about it. Um, now I think of it, I don't think I'll be replacing this with wood just because I don't want to waste putting this as like a marker. Um, I'll just turn these into a bunch of fences so I can just get a rough estimate and outline of what this section is going to be like. But other than that, we are pretty much done with our farm outline. I know this looks very, very dumb, but trust me, it'll be a lot better once I finally replace this with some concrete, which will be nice. Uh, this will just go up, of course, like that. And if you guys have any suggestions or idea for what I should do with my Minecraft survival world, besides, you know, blowing it up, you know, <laughs> uh, please let me know because I'd be very happy to take any suggestions. But that pretty much does about, or that's pretty much just about it for the video. I decided I'm going to go ahead and move the animals over once I'm done with the rough sketch and outline of the actual farm itself. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was sort of a long-ish video just because of all the work that we have done with our farm there. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to give it a like. And also, if you want to see more videos like these, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye!